Hi everyone, welcome to this week's edition to Two-Ton Gaming Podcast. I am always Chris Lincoln. Today we got two special guests with us. We got Jake Seropic Warners, and then from Two-Ton Gaming we got John McTwiggy Heard. Hello. And then our other special guest, we got Mike Momenslyth Bajima. If you're curious, they're not official members, but they're probably my closest friends, and they are associated with us. They help us out on videos and stuff. They just have jobs and important things and whatnot. And I live in California. Well, there's states. That yeah. job. Oh. <laughs> They're like a country in the way. Really? <laughs> and this week, really semantics. we're going to do, we're streaming this live, which is different for one of our audio podcasts, and we'll be fielding questions as we go. So uh, this week's topic is anime, all things anime. And uh, for those who don't know, me and Mike are really big into anime. Jake is kind of into anime. And John has seen a few animes. <laughs> I've seen the main ones. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. Hashtag. Let's be honest. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, how do you feel about the topic? I'm pretty, pretty stoked. I'm ready. <clears throat> You're ready? It's I've been so enough. ready for Prepare this. Prepare your anus. Broad enough. I don't think there needs to be anus prepared, but... There might be. I'm ready which, otherwise. Depends on which anime you're talking about, I'm right, sure. so which hentai... Yeah. <laughs> so so right are we going to... Why as well? What was that one your brother got you? Now, okay, when I turned 18, <laughs> I, um, oh, my, my brother, as a great man he was, had to buy me uh, my first porno, which actually was a hentai porn, and it was called Slutty Princess Diaries. Uh, we only had volume one, uh, the now my old age. There's ten yeah. volumes. How many at least. volumes are there? I never looked it up. <laughs> <laughs> sure, sure. Never sure, tried. Sure. I honestly, but um, what the premise was, basically, if the princess was pure, she'd be sacrificed, and the world would be saved. But like, his her like step brother or something didn't want her to die, so then he raped her. So that the world would end, but there was sex. At least we went out with a bang. If you know How would so. you have more than one volume if the world ended? Because it does. Basically, it it's like, oh no, she can't be sacrificed now. What's gonna happen in the next volume? Alternate uh, universes, maybe. I, don't know. I see. Yeah. So we never really know. But there's horses. All right. Now that we've gotten hentai out of the way. <laughs> so to preface any weird bubbling noises that you hear, we are smoking hookah during this. Just to get the disclaimer out there, we're smoking a hookah with tobacco in it. Hookah. Hashtag prickly just pear. Hookah. Prickly pear. <laughs> Smoke some prickly pear. Hashtag just hookah. Hashtag prickly pear. Everyone has beards. Gotta stay prickly. Makes sense. I just noticed that. In fact, That's... yes, we all do have beards. Yes. Really Hashtag. Glad... <coughs> a lot of beard going on. Beards. <laughs> I couldn't think of anything other than that. Oh, Anyhow. Okay. okay. As far as I'm concerned... You have what I call the big four, which are the long, still going animes, which is you got your Naruto, or Naruto, depending on how you choose to pronounce it. That's been on for, I'm guessing, close to 500, 600 episodes. Bleach, which has got to be close to the same. God. You got One Piece. <laughs> There's the big three. Is there a fourth one that's been going on for that many episodes? I mean, Dragon Ball Z went on forever. Well, yeah, but I guess you can kind of done now. You can right? include Dragon Ball Z. Well, I I thought I heard that they were gonna make. I know that they made a new movie either this year or last year. I think it was late last year they released a movie, and uh, I don't know if it's released in the United States, but I know it's definitely been released in the uh, uh, in Japan. But um, yeah, I know that it's ran just as much like God, the Frieza must have been like. 200 episodes by itself, it feels like. So it's just, it's definitely more episodes than most anime. But I, I wouldn't call that a, I like don't know. a big four. And out of everyone, I think I'm the only one who's even paid attention to any of the big four. I have, yeah, honestly, I none of the big four have I watched more than maybe 15 What about Full Metal Alchemist? Is that they ran, really a big one? That didn't ran. It, it, it both, ran for both, four seasons or something? Both only ran for like 30 two? episodes yeah. or something. Uh, yeah. like 50 episodes. Because it's like I mean, 100 if you want to watch both. It but they're, they're the same show, but until episode, they, uh, yeah, like yeah, twenty, thirty, four, no, after four, like four really? or five, they change, yeah, yeah. Uh, maybe I need to watch the well, first one or not, brother. Mm, there's a there. Well, I think there's a lot of similarities to the story in the first like half of both of them, but the episodes are completely different. The yeah, first, there's like four episodes of Brotherhood are almost exactly the same. When the Full Metal Alchemist came out. The anime wasn't keeping, or the manga wasn't keeping up. So once they ran out of manga, they're just like, 
we'll all uh, do our own thing. Which I'm falls, sure that went really well. I actually it really was a like that story. It's a good anime, just the ending sucks. But that's a very stereotypical anime thing. <laughs> Where it'll be great, and then that last episode will just be like, "What the that was fuck it. was that?" <laughs> Perfect example. The American Soul Horror Story covered it. Yeah. That's what we'll call it. So, how many animes ended that shitty that you can think of right now? Uh, at like least ninety percent. At least <laughs> name some. Uh, Soul Eater. Uh, Soul Eater. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Darker um, than Black was meh. Darker than Black was yeah. I will, the one of it's my a, favorite animes of all time. It just ended poorly and then it came poorly. back shittier than that. Yeah, that fucking second we'll season. We'll talk about that later. Second oh my god, it didn't happen. Seven. It didn't happen. Anyway, Sword uh, Art Online. I'm sorry. Sword Art Online was terrible. The ending was terrible. The ending was terrible. I Great like anime. One. Season, season one, one was ended pretty well. Amazing. And they're like, oh yeah, let's just in one season do everything that we should have done in like two or three. I don't know. I can't. It's infuriating how. What much it is. Yeah. Black, Black Brothers was bad. Black Butler. Did Death Note end badly? Um, yeah. It ended kind of how... I you you knew end. how it was going to end. Yeah, it, it didn't end poorly. It ended like... Spoiler it alert, by the way. This ended. might be always spoiler alerts for this whole podcast. If I don't you, know. We, if you haven't seen these animes, then stop and then come back later. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't know. Well, the thing is, like, we're not going to say what the endings are. We Just say what the endings are, well, yeah. can we? Yeah. I mean, I think that people... They, they've ended well beyond spoiler alerts. I think that people watching this anime will have watched a lot of these animes. Mm-hmm. And they'll even if they haven't, they'll still... <laughs> watching this podcast, <laughs> not watching this anime. Yes. We're yes. going to animate this, this whole entire podcast. <laughs> Into an anime. Yeah, oh, oh, my God. God. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm guessing that people listening and watching this podcast will so, have seen a lot of the anime. How did Death Note end? I didn't see the end. I watched a lot with my friend Frank. Well, I'm only four episodes in. Let's ruin that. Do you want it ruined? <laughs> for you? Whatever. It's fine. Well, it's just like the Shinigami already said. Like, in North, towards the beginning, since I'm talking, I don't need this. Um... Like the he like he kept doing stuff that would make his life shorter, and so the Shinigami was just like, oh, I got my book back, and hey, bye. And he's just dead. <laughs> yeah, awesome. <laughs> well, it's one of those things where it was just like, you do this, that's like ten years where he didn't say date. I don't. Yeah, he said like half, or he said it'll be. Some and then by the shorter. end, when he finally gets his book back, he was just like, okay, well, four seconds from now, goodbye, because <laughs> you're an yeah. idiot, and I told you a thousand times. Yeah. Well, at least it wasn't, like, one of those animes. Like, I see a lot, of, not just animes, but also shows that, like, you feel like it should end a, a certain way, and it's been telling you it's going to end that way the whole entire time, pretty much, and there's, like, no, nope, defied everything that we've said the whole entire time, and we're just going to do a surprise ending. No, your ending didn't make any frickin' sense. Well, in Soul Eater, they built up for this everything. epic, epic battle. Yeah. That was over in like 30 seconds. Yep. And I was like, this wasn't epic in the least bit. You had 100 plus episodes of magic, and it just was the worst ending to an anime. Yeah. And my, one of the worst I endings to an anime. I think D. Grayman did like the same thing. D. Dot Grayman yeah. did exactly the same thing. They led up to this massive, massive battle that in fact weird. never happened. Well, it was happening, but then, like, at the end of it, it was just like, hey, by the way, we're done. Sorry. You know, this is, this is it. I don't know if it's supposed to run longer or... I, I think they just ran out of stuff from the manga. Like, they, they couldn't keep up. The manga didn't keep up. Kind of like Hunter x Hunter did. Originally? The, first, the original, like, 1981 we'll, or whatever it was. We'll talk, 99. We'll talk 99. about it later. Yeah, I mean, a lot of animes aren't supposed to go for more than one season, right? Well, most sure. animes are based off of manga... Like, and then that determines how long it usually runs. The ones aren't based on manga could run as long as they so chose to. Was Neon Genesis Evangelion based on a manga? Yeah, yeah. like ninety-eight yes. percent of okay. anime are based on. Yeah, mangas. see, this is my non-knowledge coming through. And I don't but, read manga, but I I, I did know that that's one of the most successful animes it's, it's of all time. It's in a lot time. of people's top ten, so. Yeah. And yeah, it was, everyone's like, why didn't that last more than one season? It was so great. I'm like, because it wasn't that supposed was to. It story. wasn't meant to. Yeah, that was the story. That was it. And then some people, like, uh, <laughs> the one that's in space, the... Cowboy Bebop? No. 
There's a lot that are in space. Yeah, that's probably true. <laughs> but one of them was in space, and uh, it's one of our friends. Any part of the plot? Now he got anything. <laughs> was like, oh, Gert Lagan. Yeah, oh. Gert Lagan. Yeah, didn't they? It was kind of a one see, uh, one season show, and then they did a second one, and not a lot of people liked it as much, or something. I don't know because he recommended I watch it, and the first eight episodes are so stupid, I stopped watching. <laughs> No, he said it was I the greatest it. anime he's ever seen, and I went, this no. one didn't make my top 50. No. I, I stopped right after, right after, like, one of the characters died, and one of the other characters was just a mopey bitch. He was, was, he was like, the main character that they fucked, second main character. Yeah, he was like, and one they just of the killed him off, and that's like episode seven or eight, and I just went, I don't care. Well, anymore. this was fun. Yeah. <laughs> Moving Which, on. Like, I don't mind if people of like animes do that, but it's just like afterwards, it was just like the guy was a super huge mopey bitch, and while I understand that was part of like the character progression and so on, he was still a super mopey yeah. bitch for so long that it's like nothing happened I, in the anime. I feel you like that dynamic shift that never really happened. I feel like for like not quick enough big anime buffs for you guys like you guys like there's so much anime out there to watch and there's so much stuff that's great that you get into this streak of it not being good it's just not worth watching anymore because there's other stuff that's so much better well, and it's, consistently good it's like I watch all of Shippuden up to somewhere in the middle of the Great War and I kind of just stopped watching anime for a while and when I start watching again and trying to watch more anime, I just dropped it from my want to watch list. I was just like, it's going to end after the Great War. I'm sure it's going to have great episodes and stuff, but it's just predictable. We see, might need a new tool. It's probably done. I'm not going to get up and like pull during this. Okay. Um, see, one thing I wanted to address. Oh, you to said the end of Soul Eater. Mm -hmm. Just he dies because he used up all his stuff, right? What? He Soul just, Eater or Death Note? Death Death Note. Death Note. Um, and so, like, he like he basically wasn't supposed to... He, he used... Okay, he, sorry. You said that it just ends because he gets the book. He abuses and then, his then power. He abused the power. He yeah. abused the power after the guy and told him not to. over, right? He dies, and then it's the credits. That's, That's it. it. Yeah, he dies, and then it's the credits. Exactly. I mean, I, I guess that ending... I mean, it wraps up that storyline really well, but, and they did do a movie based on L. L? I mean, M? I and feel like that's a. No. I think it's L. I think it's L. Pretty repeated metaphor and things, you know, not to, yeah. uh, you know, abuse or like don't want. You couldn't like, really go any further because you couldn't. I mean, eventually, yeah. it's just a kid writing in a book to kill people. This is, but yeah. it's just, it left you wanting. I think, like one of the big things that we're used to in American television is that they'll make shitty shit up for forever, and right. we'll watch these shows that have plots apparently. Right, right. but. It's not like they wrote this story, and this is the end of the story, and this is it. Well, and that's how not only Japanese anime, but anime, yeah, uh, yeah. is, but that's how Japanese shows are made, too. Right. Almost yeah. all soap operas, like, Young and the Wrestle has been on for 30 years, and it's been <laughs> terrible for, like, 25 <laughs> or something like that. Well, not yeah. that I actually know, but, and like, they do that with Grey's Anatomy. Like, that show hasn't yeah. been nearly as good since the first, like, four seasons. And that's definitely something our culture does not... Is not the same with, and so like this is for us, is don't have integrity. Like and right, we people. talked about this with Princess Mononoke. Uh -huh. I mean, I know it's just a, it's like a, just a film and a feature from it's Miyazaki. It's awesome. It's a great best. movie. But yeah. um, no, like the Japanese version does vary from the American version, and the fact that they try to demonize humans more because we like the black and white thinking in America, whereas in Japan it's more of this like everyone's kind of to blame to, for this. Like, right. You know, we're, everyone is, you know, it's all the spirits and all the humans. And sure, all the blame, things. we all kind of suck. Yeah. But we can all fix this Bring it back thing. together, too. Right. Yeah. And so, and that's something that we just don't like to do. Yeah. And, well, yeah. I, I think that mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Americans just want to milk something <laughs> for the most that it is. Because I think that Dragon, well, like, shows we say like Dragon, that, but we just said the big four that won't end, like, those, uh, Bleach doesn't seem to have an end in sight. I mean, Manga's still coming out. It's the same crap over mm -hmm. and over again. Right. And Naruto is the same thing, but it is coming to an end. But, th like you said, there's only four of them, whereas in American television and film... And well, One Piece is always... How many Fast and Furious opinion. movies are there? Seriously. <laughs> come on. First one wasn't even that great, my personal opinion. Probably not your opinion. They're 
already, I guess. Yeah, but, I mean, it's just that we want to milk it until yeah. there's absolutely no milk left in the udder. Let's turn this question inward. Uh, we were asked, not on this, but in a previous podcast, dubbed or subbed. And I'm going to say 99% of the time, you want to watch a subbed anime. I know people are like, oh, I don't yeah. want to read, blah, 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 blah. And if all you have is Netflix to watch anime, then you don't have a choice because Funimation does the, all the dub stuff. Yeah. But if you can find... What, what do you mean? Uh, you, you actually, there's multiple language options, and you usually can, there's some that you can there's. watch with the Japanese script. There are some, yeah. A lot of them you can. Well, I know Full Metal... Uh, Broadway, well, lots of people like to not read. So. Yeah, true. Which is really unfortunate because it's a completely different storyline in it's, some animes. It's a different script, and that's that's the thing. Um, when it's dubbed, they Americanize the scripts when they do right. the acting. So. Like, my best example is in Naruto. They gave him a catchphrase that he doesn't have in the Japanese anime. Mm -hmm. He always says, believe it, but he never, ever <laughs> says believe it in the fucking anime. I, it's infuriating. But there are some that I like. Fooly Cooly, for example. I love the fully fully dumped. I think it can go. I mean, some of them can go either way. It depends on the quality of the rewritten script, right? Because if they don't spend any money on it and it's just like shitty, then it's going to be shitty. Yeah, I think. <laughs> I mean, I think we'd all be foolish to say that the Japanese actors aren't miles better than the American actors in almost all senses. Well, at least like they just feel like it's, it's more. Not, you unique. can't blame the actors. It's a budgeting thing. Yeah, that's yeah, that's, that's the great. thing. That's true too. You know, they have massive studios yeah. specifically for anime. In and Japan, then it's a much bigger deal. For us, it's it's almost like hired voice here. actors. Yeah, unless it's like Studio Ghibli thing. Yeah, and then their dubs are like theirs are superb. fantastic, yeah. right? Because it's like because it's from Studio Ghibli. Yeah. And, People who don't know, that's Miyazaki Studio, who's just given, just retiring mm -hmm. to that, let his son take over. The what? that one movie just came out. Didn't Wind, Rises? Yeah. Wind Rises. Wind Rises. I haven't final. seen it yet. I it's his. Yet. It's we his final movie, but he's going to help with the yeah. anime. Yeah. Um, I know that like a good example would be the video game Nino Kuni that they released, and there's still some people who are like that game has like a five hour tutorial. It tell. does have quite a long tutorial, but... And I went, I won't play this. I will never play this tutorial. It's a great game once you get past the early parts, but nope. there are... There are uh, Twilight Imperium, you can, hours. You can have Japanese with English subtitles, or you can just have it English, and some people, my friend game included, game. are like, the English subtitles, really or the English really actors are that. terrible. Sure I'm is. like... You can look it up. We do fact-checking all the time. The English or the, the English actors in Nino Kuni, Nino Kuni are terrible. I'm like, this is studio like Studio Ghibli is hiring these people. So I mean, yeah. they're better than a lot of other things. Another thing is that we don't speak at Japanese, so we honestly have no idea how good they are. Right. We, we, um, we have some. We had can do some voice inflection and stuff like that, and like how the characters can kind of interact. You can kind of hear some of that. But at the same time, because it we are, it's a different language, so we don't know well, yeah. as well as we would in I English. I feel like a lot of the anime... So we can't be as good of a judge. Right, I think that a lot of anime. And when they're talking, just... we're reading intently. Right. Yes, right. there's a... Uh, yeah. So there's definitely a thing where you're just like, you can hear them, but you're also hearing yourself yeah. say what they're supposed to be saying. I think animes kind of sometimes feel just hashed together really quickly. Just to like get it out there, they're like, "Oh, this anime is huge in Japan. Let's push it in America." Yeah. And they don't actually do their research and understand what they're trying to say. Because I've watched animes in <laughs> Japanese, like I watched a lot of Digimon animes in Japanese, uh -huh. and then I watched clearly when I was a kid the whole entire English one. And I'm like, this feels completely different. Like the whole vibe and the whole show feels completely different. One you know, that's Japanese. really good both ways is Cowboy Bebop. Oh, God, yes. They had an amazing American and Japanese cast, and the storyline's basically exactly the same. Yeah. They did very little changing. Well, I grew up loving Pokemon, so I liked the whole trading card thing, and then I liked Yu-Gi-Oh!, and then recently, last year, I watched the Yu-Gi-Oh! anime in Japanese. They have literally just the first episode is about card playing. That's it. <laughs> I'm not kidding you. Really? We watched the whole entire rest of the first season, no card playing. It's a completely different show, and I'm just like, how did? Because if how yeah, did this happen? If you broadcast not 
card playing and a card anime to children in America, they would not have watched it. That's not the, true because it was very interesting. The premise of you. like the shadow to As a you. twenty-five child. <laughs> well, but the whole shit. I mean, a lot of the Sailor Moon stuff is a whole all about shadow fighting people junk. Yep. <laughs> Clearly, I know a lot about these things, but it was just. <laughs> <laughs> you just shaking your head. I, like, like, Sailor Moon I just <laughs> well. It was about girls kicking monster ass. Well, it was and just boobies. about the. It could have been the same. Boobies. That's pretty I much what. Boobies. That's pretty much what Yu-Gi-Oh was about in Japan. It was just kicking monster ass, and that sounds terrible. I mean, I watched Yu-Gi-Oh when I was a kid to watch card battles. If they I, just started fighting monsters, I'd be like, "This is not what I signed up for." <laughs> that's because you were introduced to it as a card playing anime. Yeah, so that's that's what it was. was that's what they marketed as. That's what they did. So I don't know. I it just didn't seem like that in Japanese. That's why I was just really baffled when I watched the show. It's like this doesn't even. Seem I'm like never the same fooled. Thing. You would really want a mind trip. Go read a manga and then watch an anime. Yeah. My friend. <laughs> oh my god, Hunter x Hunter is exactly the same. Is it? It's exactly watch, the same. Read Fully Cooley. <laughs> right now, I'm just read, instantly pulls. I, I read Fully Cooley to watch an anime and watch nothing. There is. A lot of weird sex. Because when they say fully coolie, fully coolie in the anime, that just means fucking. What do you mean you fully coolie, fully coolie? That's just fuck, fuck, fuck. Yeah. All they do is show and have sex all the time in that fucking manga. I've never read it, but that's what I've been told. And there's a lot of weird, awkward sex with. I can't even <laughs> think of her name. The main, chick, the main chick. The main chick, the alien. Birthday with the base. presents for me. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Willy Cooley. Put that right next to your uh, slutty princess whatever the fuck. Yeah. <laughs> he has <laughs> a slutty whole secret tires. anime yeah. collection, for sure. Yeah. yeah. 20 pound flash ass from Lions of Den. That's a dungeon. That is definitely related. Not, re <laughs> not related. <laughs> Let's pull this back on topic. Sorry. <laughs> anyway. Uh, I guess we'll move forward. We'll recommend an anime, and then we'll get talking about anime that we really like. Unless there's a question being asked. Um, I haven't been looking too much. I was thinking maybe we just do like a question at the end, or I'll try to. Are there find are, are there people actually watching? It's mostly Megan and Forrest Gump talking to each other. Okay. <laughs> okay fair enough. <laughs> then we'll just there's get lots of people we'll just, watching though. There's, maybe if we there's like ten people. Watching. Maybe if you guys want to uh, recommend a tub. A topic maybe that you want to hear, and we sure, might be able sure. to see. Right now, we'll talk about anime that we would recommend. Yeah, and, then, and uh, I got two. I know Hunter x Hunter. You think, oh, it's new because it just came out, but it originally came out in like '98, mm -hmm. and it is a superb anime for people trying to get into anime. It's easy to follow. Yeah. There's a lot of action, and it's superb. And if you can't find that one, I think watch the new one. But I'm not going to yeah. recommend is the new dubbed? one. Two? Or is there a dubbed version? I'm sure you can find one, oh, but I don't not know. a real. I'm not. I don't know. But the I one I would really it. recommend, besides the 1999 Hunter X Hunter, or either mm -hmm. Hunter X Hunter, really, because they're about the same. They're oh. pretty spot on. I think. Yeah, I agree. I, I think that that sometimes is the issue for a lot of people. You want to watch Chrome anime. Shield Regoas? It's just every episode something's happening. There's no filler. It's 25 episodes, which is something I personally like. If it's 20 plus episodes, I'll definitely watch it. And if it's 12 or less, it needs to be recommended by Mike or someone who knows anime, or I won't watch it. So Chrome Shield Regoas or the original Hunter x Hunter is something I would recommend watching. See, with Hunter x Hunter, I know, like, being someone who doesn't actually get into anime as much, unless I'm, like, forced or recommended into it, the, um, <laughs> the, the original, the 1981, was just a lot slower. And so, for me... Uh, There's no, a lot of filler that there isn't in the new one. Yeah. yeah, and then the 1991 was just... It was a lot faster, and it just keeps ramping up and up. And there is a point in the series where I ended up stopping watching where, like, you get to this, like... You think it's a climax, and it's like, mm, a giant cock block, and then you're... Oh, if you're going to watch the original 1990-whatever it is, make sure you also get the OVAs for it, which is... It's just OVA, and then there's OVA Greed Island. Because if not, it's just a weird ending that goes yeah. nowhere. But if you get the OVAs, which is another like 30 plus episodes, it's well worth it. Or you can just watch the new one. I would, I would 
personally recommend the new one over the old one, just based on the speed and the they lack explain of filler. things. Yeah, there's no filler. They explain things much better, I think. In yeah. The, yeah. In the newer one, um, I think it's the same voice actors too, which is awesome. It, it's not. Yeah, it's. Well, it's if not, amazing. they sound. They sound really, really good. They're they're like spot on right there. I love it. I guess I I'll think, I'll explain what each is. Uh, for my recommendations, Crumb Shield Regolas is the Earth is basically a wasteland, and there's traveling cities called, I think, Regolas is. And, like, each dome has, like, a specialty, and one of them is an academy to train up-and-coming warriors to defeat these giant, like, bug creatures that have taken over Earth. And th that's basically the premise of that. And Hunter x Hunter is about a small boy named Gon trying to find his dad, who's a hunter, which in this anime is, like, it's like a bounty hunter, cop, secret service guy all mixed into one <laughs> badass. Or not necessarily it's badass, like, It's basically like, yeah, like a, they it's make, almost like a license that means you're better than everyone else. Yeah. Kind of. They give you, it gives you access to things. And yeah. You it's it's a great code, anime. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. You should just watch it. Jake, you want to recommend one or two or any? I mean, it's like I said, it's hard for me because I'm much more limited. And as I said, I personally... Because of, I don't know, nostalgia's sake, I really liked Sword Art's first season. But, like you said, second season just ended up sucking a lot. I but, didn't mind Sword Art any season. I liked it all as a whole. I mean... I liked it all, too. I, I mean, just didn't enjoy the ending. The ending was flip. And it was one of those things where I was I was really into it because I am big into MMOs. Yeah. And things like that. And so it just gave so me you would feel. recommend it. I would recommend it for anyone, especially anyone who's got that heart for online play, role playing games and mm -hmm. you've done it before and you just you feel like that's where your community was and that sort of thing it was uh, that's that was a great show and then i know um i know like mononoke it's a movie but that's that's another it's big still an one. Anime. i still yeah. got to watch that's, a lot of the studio okay. ghibli movies that, i still haven't seen mononoke that Don't movie was me. like okay. my my life so i, I mean I've, I've watched I, it over just, 70 times pe people like offered some mononoke it was like yeah it's really good but i in my opinion i like spirit way more Princess, I'm Wednesday. sorry, um, Prince Ashitaka, I mean, is literally my favorite hero of all time. I mean, it's this guy who's humble, and he's just, he's he's never the first to strike, you know? He's always just like, you know, please don't, please don't kill everyone. Uh, we don't want any harm, you know? And then finally he's like, oh, you're about to kill those kids? Okay, fine, I will shoot you. <laughs> I guess. I'm sorry. <laughs> what do you it's think? like, oh, you're killing you're killing young women and children. I guess I'll have to kill you. Like it's it's one of those things. I just I love his demeanor and things. Mike, what the I'm trying to type something to just let people know that I'm actually paying attention. Oh, okay. But I don't want to type it on my keyboard because it'll be like click 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 a bunch of bricks falling down like yeah. uh tin I know you don't have like well, I'll just talk really <laughs> loud. <laughs> I know you don't have an extensive library to recommend, but well, I don't care if it's a popular one. We'll I'll, talk about underrated anime here. I'll so. kind of talk about a little... I wanted to say, I think that a lot of the problem, like, getting into um, anime for a lot of people is found within the anime community themselves because a lot of people are like, this is what anime should be. It shouldn't be dubbed. It should... Or it should be... You should never be bullied by a Nazi anime lover. Yeah, right. just find a theme you like. If it's right. sports, vampires, there's going to be an anime out there that's oh, yeah. l that you will find a field in that you like. Some people like sport. I like sports anime. Mike doesn't really care for sports anime. I've been Chris but, has been oh, telling me for weeks, months that we should get into uh, Prince, Prince of tennis. tennis because I bore him to hell every day with watching tennis, and I love tennis. And he's like, "You would love this anime," and. It's definitely on my list, but I think that the problem is, is that a lot of, like, anime Nazis are like, there shouldn't be English dubs, uh, you should always be watching, but that's what makes it easy for people who aren't into anime to get into anime, and to be more accepting to the animes that are a little bit more weird, and take more, yeah. like, knowledge to get into. It's the anime gateway drug. Right, exactly. Yeah. Our voices are the anime <laughs> gateway drug. <laughs> But me personally, um, I actually do know a few animes that I would recommend that aren't completely Dragon Ball Z too. or yeah, Dragon Ball Z or Sailor Moon, which clearly are both very me. But mm -hmm. I really like um, uh, Evangelion for sure. I watched the whole entire first. I watched the whole season, and Say that's it again. that's another 
Evangelion? Evangelion? Sure. Is that an Evangelion. Is that another one that is pronounced I, different ways or no? I'm no, just I, You're okay. just saying it wrong. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And I've only yeah. ever heard it pronounced the way Jake's doing it. Yeah. Yeah. And so when you yeah, do it, Genesis. it confuses the shit out of me. Um, <laughs> and what was the one that I said earlier? The one about um, women and power and stuff. What? Play more? Play more. Play yeah. more. Yeah. Play more is really good. And I, like, that would be definitely the one that I would be like, guys out there who really like anime, but their girlfriends are like, this is so stupid. Blah, blah, blah. Like, you could definitely get a girl into anime more so with a show like Claymore because it's based around... Claymore's super violent. It's it's super violent, but it revolves around female chick characters, based. and I like... That's a lot of anime. If you just base it off, it's got chick characters, and there's a shit load of anime. That, but it's the chicks are like the heroines. Yeah, the well. chicks... It's, it's something that's like empowering for women because it's only like, chicks are able to be the Claymores. So I just think that it's same something thing in, like, that... Maduka Magica. Women well, only... I'm just saying that that's just one of the... There are animes out there for everybody, and that's definitely... Magical Fun Fair, only women can be magicians. Yep. Vampire Night, the only chicks can be vampires. Yeah, that's, that is... What? Claymore's definitely on the violent side, but I think that it's a vampire lot of fun. Night? Oh, I meant Vampire... They're dancing the Vampire Ball. Okay, because Vampire Night, <laughs> there is that's... definitely... <laughs> Tons of so many anime vampires. you gotta keep track of it yeah, in no. your head. Yeah. I, I have like a list of the hundred plus animes that I've watched, but I don't have it with me. We'll just yeah, recommend but, one. Yeah, I yeah, yeah, I'll just recommend. Oh, obviously, I'm gonna recommend Hunter x Hunter. Yeah. Obviously, I'm gonna recommend Sword Art Online. Um, and then another one that I personally really, really like is Darker Than Black. Oh. Only Darker Than Black season one. Season one. If you watch season two, you won't want to live anymore. Um, oh, good. It's, it's such. <laughs> They literally, they went up, 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 kind of shelf at the end because it wasn't a very good ending. But they, they way up here, and then season two just went... It's literally better, like, worse than Licking Diarrhea. Like, it's so bad. Like, wait, 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 wait. Are you saying it's so bad that you want to end your life, or... It you will just you, die. It makes you, you want... You will die if you, you watch it. Just It's like, just straight, straight up, you the will ring die. The ring is not great. Like, okay. I just want to make sure, as a social worker, I just wanted to put it out there that I don't want to have to save everyone from suicide after we have this podcast and they watch season. So season. this is one. So they will just can, die. This is one Jake fine. cannot okay. recommend. I cannot I recommend. Not recommend season dying. two of Dark and the Black. You have season to one. For. Hey, the Black Reaper is my freaking favorite. One of my favorite anime characters ever. I love his powers and his awesomeness, but. The, the I mean the main character the in Black Reaper Black guy. Reaper. Okay. I'm going to be cosplaying him as in at Comic Con. Oh, that's that's that yeah. guy. You have? Oh, okay. Yeah. It's such an easy and costume too. It is. The black trench coat and a mask. Trench coat, a mask, and then I'll put a wig on. Cat bus. <laughs> we got a cat bus though. That, that'll be thing. that'll be another one. Um, and the other one that hasn't been mentioned that I would recommend. I have no idea. Go ahead, take it. No, I don't know. I I, I, I need your list. I'm going to say it for Mike, because it's one of me and Mike's. I'm pretty sure it's both on our top tens. It's Same Lelouch. Oh, my God. I forgot. Lelouch. Le Le Code Geass. Lelouch Code of the Rebellion. Yeah, Code Geass. Code Geass. Yeah, that is. And then is Lelouch the Rebellion, and then Lelouch the Rebellion 2, which is season 1, too. Yes. I couldn't stop watching that. That was. I think I've seen it twice now all yeah, the way through. It's, it's amazing. I'm, I'm if you like Gundams, it's awesome. If you like. How many episodes is it? Season one, like forty something, maybe something like okay. that. I think it's, it's twenty one each. Number. Something pretty reasonable. Yeah, it's like forty two. Yes, I it, it has a decent yeah. ending. It's just daunting as well. It has an ending good. that you just like. That's how you should end an anime. Yes, <laughs> this is a good way to end it. Yep. So that's the one we can say ends right. That one ends right. I think. Yeah. Yep. That one ends right. All right. Good. What um, are some of your other most satisfying, like most overall satisfying? <laughs> Um, animes that you haven't mentioned, whether it be just the storyline, the character development, or the characters, or the way it ended. Both Full Metal but, Alchemists. Well, we mentioned Full Metal. I really, I guess yeah, we I also really like Full Metal. We didn't mention Outlaw Star. That's another one. Outlaw Star is good. Outlaw Star is a little older. It's got an older, even like cartooning. When you watch anime, you can tell basically where it's from by how it's drawn, and you can. 
I think All Star came in maybe late eighties, early nineties. Not that it takes away from how good it is, because it's still just as good. Another one, Ghost in the Shell. Ghost in the Shell. Movies, the uh, the movies and the anime. So Both first, for those who don't know, Ghost in the Shell was originally a movie, and then mm-hmm. Ghost in the Shell Standalone Complex, the anime came out, which was twenty something maybe episodes. I don't remember. I don't remember. And then Standalone Complex Two. I'm forgetting. Yeah, there's one. like three, four movies. There's Innocence. There's. And now there's two. an OVA that just came out. And I'm in the process of finishing all of them right now. They're good. They're amazing. I mean, it's it's about like cyborgs and like transhumanism and. Brain like, hacking. Yeah. Like and brain they hacking. have the MMO coming out soon. Really? I didn't know that. Nope. End of this <clears> year. I should check that out. Do you know what platforms? PC. PC. Probably just PC. Good animes that we haven't mentioned. Uh, well, do we have? If you have a small movies? child, and you're trying to get him into anime, try. Uh, I think it's called Detective Academy Q. It's basically, the smartest kids in uh, Japan end up all at the same academy for whatever reason. <laughs> and there's a special class of just like the smartest called the Q class. If you make it to Q class, you actually get to work real cases. It's basically kids solving Sherlock Holmes style murder cases and stuff. That's cool. That's kind of cool. It's a decent 24 episode one. Okay. Are there any questions or anything? Or yeah, do you want to do a mini quick question? We'll do, question. we'll do some of that. Yeah. So the first thing was, what about Doc, Doc Hack Sign? I do like Doc Hack Sign. Mm-hmm. I don't like the rest of them. I'll agree with that. I saw an o- I saw the OVA of the Dot Hack something on Netflix. Whatever that one is. I have no idea. I'm sure a, it's about some little assholes. Little assholes. Quantum, yeah. Maybe, I don't know. There's, no, like there's some little ass cat thing that Dot was Hack fucking the shit, the video, and I thought that, was I really liked that one. Dot Hack Sign, uh, I thought that was really good. Um, Dot Hack Sign is just, it's kind of like Sword Art Online. Yeah. You follow the characters, online video game characters. Right. Like Dot Hack Sign, but they can sign much. off, except for the one character who And they made yeah, a video game out of it, right? They've made a bunch they've of made, Dot they Hack made games. They made a lot of video games out of that. Yeah. One. Really fan- I remember my ex that. had some video games of it. What are some other uh, video game or anime to video game adaptations that you really liked? Uh, I had a Dragon. I couldn't tell you. It was like Dragon Ball Z Shout Burst Two or something. Mm-hmm. The PS Two. If you're well, most of them were fighters, so the Dragon Ball Z ones, the Naruto ones. Right. Besides that, I couldn't even tell you another it anime that's was Blood Rain. No. 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 OVA there was a original video animation. What is I that? Think? What is that? We always mean? do that original no video blah. What it's is that not animation? Yeah, but it's animation. It but else. what? Like, what's? Does that mean something different from? Is there like another release that's not or something? Or it's like it's what what had been broadcasted. Yeah, but they cut. Yeah. Oh, they cut for television. They cut. So they for cut America? it for television, and then no, they just cut it. Like it didn't air. Yeah, and okay. then they're just like, "Here's the OVA that okay. we okay. we so didn't like have ex- time to do." Director's right. cut kind of thing, basically. Or, okay, yeah, something you. like that. Yeah, because I like I had to Google what OVA even <laughs> meant, which is, and I just I want to make sure that what that rack I did meant. I did like Dot Hack Sign, but I did not enjoy the ones. Yeah, um, I connected with the characters better in Sword Art Online yeah, because I, it was just really so much closer to some of the experiences that I had in online games. Yeah. Uh, whereas dot hack sign was it was, I I didn't have the same emotional connection with the characters. Yeah, just it was, there was different movie, situations yeah. that happened inside yeah. of there. Yeah. But I I mean it was it was very good and you felt for the characters. But it was just it was just a little different kind of anime. Um, and then another one was what do we think of Fairy Tale? Have any of you guys seen that? A fairy Tale was the other one of the big four. Okay. Fuck. I couldn't remember <laughs> what it was. I've seen the first 150 something of Fairy Tale. And when you watch as much anime as me, you don't want too many kid like animes. Because I was already watching One Piece, which is. I mean, it's not very adult. No one, like, hardly ever dies in the anime. That's what I consider an anime where someone gets, like, stabbed through the heart but somehow still lives. Yeah. And Fairy Tale is very much like that, where people get beaten to a pulp but they're still actually not dead. And uh, I just got tired of watching both at the same time. But Fairy Tale's a good one. 
Yeah, I think I I only just started watching Fairy Tail. I'm only like I've got few five episodes in or something. I didn't have like the time to keep going, but it seems like a good anime. It reminds me of Soul Leader a lot. Uh, I don't really have much else to say about it. It's an interesting premise. So, do you think that that's a reason why a lot of Americans aren't in? To anime as much as Japanese people is because it's more violent, or no? I was um, because I mean, there's plenty of anime that are just and there's also nothing much. that's like one One Piece. There's I mean they fight all the time, but like nothing ever really happens. I feel like the animes that are most popular in America are like the animes like Sailor Moon and the animes like uh, I mean, Dragon Moon Ball. Always popular. Well, but it was popular, and nobody, none of the main characters. Really, ever died and got hurt. They were Dragon Ball where they died all the time. But they came back. They were never killed for completely. Well, like in an anime that you would consider an anime anime, not that you don't consider Dragon Ball Z an anime, but one that you would consider a serious one. People die. They don't come back like that. And I think that oh, like in Gantz where everyone dies. I think. Oh my god. (laughs) I think Japanese people are like we want there to be. We want this to be as realistic as possible, and just kill well, that's people. That's not true. Because in fucking, I'm trying to think of what it's called, fucking Airbender, people died in Airbender. That's true. But Avatar, I mean, the last Airbender. Yeah, people died. I love there. Avatar. I didn't even think of that. That's nice. an American anime. anime where people die. Yeah, that's really good. But um, and it's one of the best I, American animated cartoons. Then again, Ever. I know a lot of... That's not like a comedy, yeah. Yeah, I would agree with that. I, I, I know some Japanese like uh, foreign exchange students who just don't like anime. They think it's for kids. Because it's just cartoons. Because it is. It's just cartoons. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's just those, cartoons. Those, yeah. All that stuff is kid stuff. And exactly. We're fascinated by it because our different... shows are all happy, happy. Yeah. Or silly like Adventure Time. Not right. that there's anything wrong with Adventure Time, a regular show, but... right. What do you think? It's of, totally different when you see some guy jump, backflip, kung fu, kicking people in the face, right. and then their face launches off of their body and splatters all over a wall or something. Yeah, let's we don't get that <laughs> unless it's a horror movie. Yeah. Right. What do you think of the sexual aspect of the if Japanese? There's an anime like that has Bob, nudity for nudity's sake. I'm not gonna watch it. I don't. Yeah, I don't really like that either. Like, it, do you guys think that that's a primarily seen aspect of animation? Or anime in uh, there will always be absurdly large titted chicks in anime. That's just like an anime staple. I guess I'm just trying to boil it down why anime really hasn't caught on here like it is in Japan. Because I think it's just as popular here. But it's not taken as seriously like it is in Japan. Like you are, we've already said that there we don't pay our actors nearly as much. The research doesn't go into it like it does. And there aren't any American animes that are made in America that are, like, supremely popular like they are in Japan. Like Disney movies? Right, exactly. Well, that's not true, because Adventure Time and Regular Show are absolutely huge in Japan. It's it's a totally different, in my opinion, it's two different ways of taking it. Where they have companies that will produce tons of anime and make good studio, Ghibli... The fucking, I can't even think of the name. The, the, God, they did. We just talked about it. Standalone Complex. Help me out. Talk to you. Ghost in the Shell. Okay. The guys who do Ghost in the Shell have done a bunch of anime that have all been fucking great. While we have Cartoon Network. I kind of like Funimation. What are you talking about? Well, for the Funimation is another good one. They do thousands of animes. That's a huge company. Yeah. But we have Cartoon Network. Right. That does. 90% of American cartoons, besides Nickelodeon. And both those channels are kid channels. Yeah. Versus yeah. corporations. So comparing one to another is an unfair competition. Well, Because I... when they make an anime, they do a broad spectrum. When we make a cartoon, it's for kids. Right. Yeah. And that's why they have... Besides like family. family Guy. Well, <laughs> but that's and... a cartoon comedy. Right, and I think I think that a lot there's way more leniency in anime, like the ability to put big chested, bouncy titty women in their anime and get away with it, but also make things that are more fun and funny. And Another one I would recommend cuz we just mentioned the studio that does uh, Ghost in the Shell is Cycle Pass. Amazing. Also recommend it. I haven't seen yeah, I haven't seen that yet. Fantastic. Same people did it. And it's yeah. you can tell cuz it's kind of the same art style. But so good. Yeah, so 
just to say real quick from your question and also like stuff the viewers are saying is yeah it's because in america cartoons are primarily thought of as for children right it's like yeah. and what about it and it is to? and i think that they're trying to make that transition that japanese animation has made to allow for more adults to be able to watch it and enjoy it and people are like i myself i i don't personally like adventure time because i watch it and I'm raised with this American way of thinking of cartoons are for children. And anime, or uh, Adventure Time rather, is kind of this very adult speaking, very adult um, jokes kind of thing that my kid, I wouldn't have understood when I was a kid. And I wouldn't want necessarily my kid living in America yeah, I, to understand. I think that's Cartoon Network because I'm trying to broaden their viewer base because I know Jake's a big fan of Adventure Time. I am mm -hmm. big because their jokes are like they have jokes that kids would understand, and just the actions that they're but doing is funny. But there's a lot of jokes that kids wouldn't get, but adults would, and that's a. I think that's an important step Cartoon Network's trying to make. Well, right. I mean, think about any Disney movie that you've rewatched. A adult, lot of adults. Oh my god! Right. <laughs> there is so much stuff that I just right, right. over my head. Exactly, kid. and Disney's been doing it for years, and kind of like teenagers take off your. Right, oh my God. right. I was just, I was just gonna say, like, even without the subliminal message in Aladdin, they had a lot of adult jokes that Genie made. That was, the they had a lot of jokes that Genie or shining, shimmering, splendid. Sorry, I'm they had a lot of uh, adult jokes, and I think that Cartoon Network and places are like making <laughs> over sideways. <laughs> <laughs> Send you backwards, I'm in you, and you. That's how the song is. You did in your hands. I'm coming to the world. I can't feel it. All right. Back out of the top. Anyway. Anyway. Back out of the top. <laughs> wow, sorry. Another question? Uh, let's see. No. No more questions? I think we're still talking about Japan. Okay. Mostly. Um, most adults, yeah, most adults for certain... Ah, wow, most adults prefer to see real life things as opposed to like cartoons and animated. The fair point, and stuff. right? Exactly. Like a lot of our, like adults don't want to see like Krillin get killed seven times and come back and be like, "Oh yeah, that's yeah. plausible." No, Krillin, you're dead. Go away, Krillin. <laughs> well, well, not, you're not welcome here. Krillin's anymore. a bad example because I know, so young like a, I know. it's yeah. a terrible example, but I'm just saying. But I mean. The thing is that the animes also have different audiences too, and a lot of the ones that are for beliefs. kids, we still watch them, right? Yeah. We watch them as adults, or mm -hmm. like when I was a kid, I would watch a lot of the kid ones, and I would watch some of the adult ones too. So it's yeah. like I don't know, but it's harder. It's harder to discern that without watching them, as opposed to a show that's clearly this is a cop drama and for adults, as and it's real life and everybody's dying in real life and shit. First. These are all cartoon, or these all look like cartoons to us. And then when it goes on, and, and then all of a sudden there's big breasted chicks shooting lasers into, like, whatever. Whatever. Or do you yeah. think, do you think in, like, I, I wouldn't say that the generation that's going on that are kids watching cartoons now uh -huh. are vastly different than us, but do you think the next generation in 20 years will have any interest in the anime that we watched now, when we were like kids. Adventure Time, oh, like no, like Ninja Turtles and GI Joe, right? And... Ninja Turtles, GI Joe, even Dragon Ball Z. Like people mm -hmm. are going to be like, or I'm sure, or that Sailor one in a hundred kids might be, yeah. but the th I think it's totally that different because I think the, people the generation are before me, now. our generation, our fathers, you know, what do they watch? Howdy Doody. I want to fucking watch Howdy Doody. Right, exactly. Yeah. Right, it's just it's going to always be a progression. But it our really generation is. are more acceptable to watching Japanese anime, or at least I feel so. The twenty. 25, 26 year olds, yeah. that's very acceptable to watch anime. I think that'll well, only get stronger with the next generation. Right. I mean, it's been because of just how the internet has been, you know, and everything is a world economy now. It's like, it's not economy. I'm looking for, um, what's the word for? Boiling pot? What are you doing? Sphere? Oh, the world and stuff. Melting pot kind of thing? Information and. Never mind. Whatever. We All get right. you. Okay. Um, but <laughs> but like shows like smart. shows like Pokemon done. have been on since we were kids. Yeah. And they have not changed at all. Right. But now kids 
who were our age about Pokemon. They... How many Pokemon have actually, has actually cost him? How much? How many did we? You know what I'm saying, motherfucker? Yeah, it was uh, it was like forty or something. Forty in twenty years, he's got forty Pokemon. We you know looked how many it up. I can work catch in a week. <laughs> Like four hundred. Yeah, you can catch <laughs> that. Try. You can catch as many as Ash in the first two hours of playing X and Y. Yep. yep. There's there's <laughs> that many you can catch. But I'm just well, saying. I catch them all, but I suck at this fucking world. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying. Apparently, that, I can defeat anyone with just a fucking Pikachu. Yeah, Pikachu. Works. That Pikachu is one hundred thousand. What's what's that? Yeah. I'm going against a Brock and an Onyx. All I need is this sprinkler to go off. Thanks, Golden. Done. That Golden Charm. You said another. But it's just interesting. Oh, it did. It's just interesting that some <laughs> some anime is so mature. You know what? <laughs> some anime. Shut your poor mouth. Shut your mouth. It's very mature. Some anime like you would never imagine translating into the next generation, and then here we are with Pokemon. Who people who were kids who were our age when we started watching it are still watching it. It has not changed at yeah, all. Yeah, but they're recanoning so, it. They're relaunching it. They're, my yeah. kids are. Another question it. you get asked a lot is like, I watch anime. How do I get my girlfriend into it? Yeah, and it's the same same questions as how do I get into anime? Find an anime that she'd be interested in. Mm, Does listen. she like basketball? The watch. I think there's a lot of guys. I think there's a lot of guys. A lot of guys are kind of selfish in that aspect. That that's, they just see girl animes as Sailor Moon. I don't want to fucking watch Sailor Moon. Look, that's not no, the only not anime cool. for girls out there. If you're a true anime fan, then you probably like way more than one genre. Right. I love way more than one genre. I love almost all of them, except for like hentai and like nudity yeah. for nudity sake animes, which I find redundant and retarded. So watching anime is as bad as watching a porn for like I think because the of the plot. Yeah. Like, yeah okay. Okay. I think, so here's what yeah. I did. I mean, here's, here's like, my advice and, like, kind of what I did with my previous girlfriends is you look at the kind Mike of shows... Mike has a great success rate. Primp. P primp. 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 For making his women Pimp watch the anime. Let's, this is true, but... Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, like, you look at the movies they like, you look at the TV shows they like, and then you, you kind of go through the anime you've watched, and you maybe rewatch one of those with them. It's just like, oh, this doesn't work on, like, a third date. Like, right. you, <laughs> they have to, like, be into you. Yeah. Like, right. Enough to be like, hey, do you want to try this thing? Please? And then, right. if not you want, like that. Not I exactly think, like that. Yep, <laughs> yep, yep, you got me. I think a good start uh, is to date a girl who you can see actually being able to get think into anyone, animes. I think anyone can get into anyone, anime. Oh, yeah. There we go. You have anyone to find the... You literally you have just to have to go into right it with, like, any... Don't go in there with the preconception, oh, it's a fucking cartoon, it's going to be stupid. Yeah, I think that and a if, lot of girls... And if that's what you're dating, like that, that might just be... Right. I don't know why you're um, being gender specific. Yeah, I guess like, I, just, I know you a could ton do that. of girls who watch anime. No. No, for but, sure. Okay. So this How do you get your boyfriend into anime? The exact same steps. Yeah, your you. partner into anime. Doesn't that matter. That is the correct way. <laughs> thank you. That's if so you literally, you try to find an anime that kind of patches up with their other movie Interest. and entertainment interests mm -hmm. and then you go we'll sit you're like hey do you want to try watching this together and for instance like one of the easier things to do is to watch a movie because a movie is not that time intensive for instance like spirited we away right. spirited away or something like that it's, it's not a like, great intro wow. movie exactly right. it's it's like it's, it's not a commitment like watching plot. a show it's, yeah it's like great plot and then it's just like oh do you want to try this show that has similar themes to it right it's just like once they see a sh once someone sees a show that they thought, oh, this is a cartoon, it's not going to be whatever. And then right. if they see it, and they like it, and it's good, then they will be much more open to anything else. Yeah, I think boy, girl, whatever it in between, matter. everybody has preconceived notions kind of coming into yeah. anime. And I guess that I kind of still do have those, because yeah. I'm not as into anime as you guys are. So I'm kind of looking at it from an unbiased perspective. But a lot of people are kind of just have these ideas well, about mm -hmm. anime, and you could be like, Anime's been going on for 50 years. It's not all these... I mean, anime's been going on in Japan since right. they've had cartoons. Right. So, yeah. It's not this typical they... thing that... Anime is, is just a short way of saying animation. Right. I mean, anything can be in an, Any cartoon is technically an anime. Right. It's just an animated series. Right. Yeah. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Alright. Well, we're running pretty much on schedule. We'll write off a few more of that We'd recommend, uh, and then we'll say our goodbyes. What would you... We've, we've talked about things that you would recommend for starter animes. What Just you, good animes? What do you think would... 
your three, if you Global know what, Jake, that most people, what is like a underground anime that you wouldn't think many people have heard of that you would recommend that's good? Pumpkin Scissors. Yes. Um, Why? What's it, it? Give a synopsis. Pumpkin Scissors is about this big war that used to go on and this one country got a bunch of tanks and certain people were given these powers, they're referred to as pumpkin scissors, to destroy said tanks. And there's one guy left who can. Yeah. So Which it's like a like savior this, of worlds, kind of. Yeah. Gotcha. Kind of. Yeah. Um, he used to be a, pretty much a killer, and then now he's kind of a good guy. He's kind of like a hero at the end. Or throughout the whole thing, he's a hero, basically. And how, how long is that one? 20... Something episodes. 20 episodes. Most well, animes are 20 something episodes. Okay. Uh, fucking. Some people heard of it and some people haven't, but Duoru is a, is a good one. Duoru? Duoru? Is that the one about the Irish, Irish... folklore? Yeah. Okay. Duoru is, uh, is the Irish equivalent of the Headless Horseman, the stuff where he doesn't go around collecting heads. He sits with his head, or her, because it's a female spirit, who sits with her head in the carriage with you, and if you see one, that means. Your time is just about up. In this anime, a Duru head was stolen, and she spends most of the anime trying to get it. And I will say the first five episodes is basically an introduction to every single character in the show, and there's a bunch of them. So that's a little boring, but some animes... Me of... yeah. <laughs> every character has a name in the first episode. You're just like, what? <laughs> uh, what's that one we like, Mike? I can't fucking... Oh, that doesn't help. Which I one? I know it doesn't help. I don't know. Any part Just of name it. one. Uh, Your underground turn. one? Mm -hmm. I, well, just I lesser mean, known. Like, it doesn't lesser happen. known is like Outlaw Star, but I said that one already. I love that one. Uh, Air Gear, if you like rollerblading. <laughs> Shut up, it's a good fucking anime. <laughs> and it's not rollerblading, they're just... It's the closest thing I can think of. Rollerblading. This is where I wish I had my list that I could have been yeah, through the whole sucks. time. Yeah, it uh, I have mine written down. I don't know what notebook it's in. I don't want to flip through all of them trying to find yeah, it. Yeah, fuck that. Uh, Do we have any of the uh, have, commenters saying? Yeah, it's just like, what's a good like, anime that has dragons, nature, other mystical creatures, actions, and stuff, and not nudity? I'm trying to think of anything with dragons. I actually or have mystical, never seen Or mystical dragons. creatures. Mystical creatures I feel like that should be in a bunch of them. The only one I can think of is this really crappy one that I don't remember the name of. Hunter so X Hunter. That one. Un has, yeah, Hunter, Hunter X Hunter does have creatures. mystical creatures. creatures. And Toriko it's, has weird shit. It doesn't have nudity, but it's fucking weird. Hunter. It's all about food. <laughs> I think if you <laughs> want a food anime. Not quite a right. Literally enough. anything you can it, like, it's, it's, there's a fucking There's anime. chefs who are like hunters, or like the chef hunters in Hunter X Hunter, and all they do is go around trying to make their perfect... 12 course meal. I yeah. think Miyazaki has a lot of like mythical creature As, based. I can't yes. think of anything that has just a, that's not Dragon Ball Z. That has Nature, what? dragon, or mystical I mean, creatures. I think Hunter and I know Hunter there's a thousand good. of them. Hunter 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 stuff. Sword Art Online. Yeah, yeah Sword Art Online. Yeah. That makes sense. Some. Um... They don't have dragons, but it's got nature. A lot of the, yeah, creatures. the Miyazaki movies, for instance... We'll have demons and... We'll have demons and mythical creatures like Nausicaa. Um, Nostra, Spirit Away has, Nostra, Spirit Away blood has, blood. has a lot of like spirit Mononoke. spirits. Mononoke has not dragons, but like lots of mythical creatures. It is creatures the spirit. That's, the whole, that's, entire like, entire that's the whole thing. Um, Speaking of, it's making so drag. Angry. Tales of Earthsea has dragons, but that I don't know. Dragon not it's not like Dragon the round <laughs> Dragon Tales. There we go. <laughs> Recommend Dragon Tales at the top. <laughs> um, Speaking of Miyazaki and everything, I don't think we've talked about, like, clearly Miyazaki is at the f first and foremost of animation movies, but would you recommend some other great um, anime movies that aren't me? couldn't even tell you one that's not based off of a series. The movies? Um, All the anime movies I, I watch is based off of... Akira is really good. Oh, I fucking hate it. I like that one. I don't know. There was, uh, oh my god, uh, three centimeters per second is amazing. There's oh, uh, straight jacket, so good. The girl who leapt through time is also really good. 
Um, so there's more than you thought. I just had to say it. <laughs> yeah, no, there's a lot. There's these are movies. Yeah. These are all movies that we're naming up now. Um, another good one. I can never remember the name of it, but it's literally the saddest movie I've ever seen in my entire life. All right, let's recommend that one. <laughs> <laughs> another one of those ones, like the oh uh, fucking Vampire Hunter D Bloodlust. Yes, that's a good one. What is this movie's name? I literally cry every time. <laughs> you were there what? with that, right? What? Trinity Blood. Oh, Trinity Blood. I That's love right. Trinity Blood. That's a good underground one. I bet you not a lot of people watched Trinity Blood. Not a lot Trinity of people. Blood. Really? Yeah. It was just because we had a group of friends that all watched it. So yeah, it seemed really popular. That's the thing is, like, you watch you watch a good anime. That's one. That's one thing people are like. What's an underground anime? And that's like it might be underground for me because for me, Mike, right, Hunter X Hunter was very underground. But now, fucking everyone's heard of Hunter Hunter or Hunter Hunter, Hunter, Hunter because he actually does really good. Right. Gun so, Gun X Sword. It's a good one. Or Gun Sword. Um, it's not a movie, but it's a good okay. anime. I really wish I could. Think about line barrels of uh, whatever. What's that one? Line what barrels of. Line barrels. I think it's just line barrels. Line barrels is a good anime. Is. It's not super underground, but. Yeah. If you like Gundams, just watch. Gundam. No. Well. <laughs> I mean, yes. Yeah. <laughs> but the best Gundam anime to me is Code Geass. And if you don't watch that, watch Mobile Suit Gundam Zero Zero. Yeah. I just. I can't think of anything with forests. I can only think of space in New York. I've been trying to think about. I've been trying to think of like a fantasy anime, but for the life of me, I can't. Um, there just this, seems like there's so many. There's, there's so many based on future or yeah. modern times that there's not a lot of. Mm -hmm. You could say Claymore. Claymore. Yeah, that's. Or that's, Berserk. Berserk, too. Berserk's super violent. If you want to watch a violent anime, fucking watch Berserk. Or Berserk or whatever the fuck it's called. That is super violent. Let's say... Hmm. We're going to, like, pick... Sorry. One mystical... I don't know. Like, as far as mystical movies, like, with mythical creatures and stuff, I would definitely say Princess Mononoke and Nausicaa. And then, as far as... Animes, Dragon like, like dra dragons every now and again. <laughs> yeah, like, that's, like that doesn't even. I, mean, I, I would so. I wouldn't recommend that one as a new for a new I wouldn't anime watcher. If you were gonna watch Dragon Ball Z, skip Z and watch Kai. Okay. Which is Dragon Ball Z, but without well, the I mean, filler. Yeah. No. It's just everyone's like, oh, it's so great. I think that's nostalgia speaking. I think it's terrible. What is Dragon Ball? I can't watch Dragon Ball. It, yeah, so I, I was always born with this kid. I can't. I couldn't stand it. I Dragon still Ball or Dragon Ball Z or everything. All Dragon Ball things related. I can't stand any of it. Well, I mean, it's that 37th episode of Amekai! <laughs> Return next time. And then Recap Guy. I fucking hate that guy. Oh fucking Recap God. Guy. <laughs> fucking Recap Last Guy for time, seven Dragon minutes. It's been like, you just wasted. Uh, it's a 30 minute show. You wasted seven minutes recapping. <laughs> um. I've been. I can't. I there's can't no. Think, think about that. In a there fucking are manga. There are. What's there that one? Uh, you. It's not anything about nature. Eureka Seven. Eureka Seven is really good. That's another kind of Gundam-y one. Yeah, I like Gundams. That's a good one. Um, Might as well stop trying to think of movies and just yeah. like naming anime. We really like because movies is way harder. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I really need to know the name of this movie. That makes me cry. Oh, look, it's looking. I'll be right back. <laughs> he just... Push. Oh, the mouse. Oh. Oh, sorry. Coming. <laughs> I'm coming. We fell off the world. Fell off the world. <laughs> I can take a drink of my top without hiding it. Yeah. Hey, uh, from the list. How have we not talked about Attack on Titan? Attack on Titan's really good. <laughs> Only so? Yeah, I only got like nine or ten episodes in before I well because I caught up to it and then I stopped watching because I'm not really, I'm, at, I'm gonna. It's uh, one of those animes where I don't. Oh my chance. You are I need to power watch a show where I usually forget about it. <laughs> what? Uh, just watching us fall over on the stream right now. <laughs> All right, so here's some of the ones. Don't bump it again. You bump it again. Motherfucker! <laughs> <laughs> we are. Yes. You're not going to somehow get Mike in there. Woo! Hey. I don't even care. Don't move. 
Yep. Okay. Uh, Got him. Ronin Warriors, Cowboy Bebop. Ronin Warriors! Oh so my god, I forgot all about that. It was my childhood. Man. Hunter x Hunter did come out in 99, by the way. I'm just going to go through this list. You just say agree or disagree. Okay. Uh, Samurai Shampoo. Agree. Lelouch, Kojias. Of course. Blue Exorcist. Maybe. I really like Blue Exorcist. I don't remember Exorcist. that one very well. Blue Exorcist is... I would recommend it. Mike doesn't remember. I would recommend it, though. Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Yes. Metabots! I love Metabots. I don't give a fuck what any of you say. What was the one that was on in America? I don't know if it was Metabots something was that America. was on in Japan, but they were within a video game. It had Dot and... Dot Hack. Sorry, we already went over it. Dot Hack? Is that the one where... They were, like, in a video game. One guy got stuck in a video game. It was, like, a whole green world. I don't know if like, all, it's all I mean, it's very grassy, but whatever. Going on. Uh, Fully yeah. Cooly, which we already said yes. I had this because I finished it, but I don't think I'd recommend it. It's Pandora Hearts. If you like Alice in Wonderland, then go ahead, but besides that, it kind of loses all meaning. Dwyer. Soul Eater, I'd watch it again. Mike? Yes. High School of the Dead. This one is a mixed uh, feeling because there is nudity for nudity's sake. Yeah. But it's about zombies and it's fucking hilarious. It is, yeah. It, it's a disappointing 12 episode ending though. Yes. Because it, it ended open ended because they got shut down. Is that like, what's. Is that some of the only. I mean, clearly there must be more anime about zombies. Excuse me, that's, a, that's a huge thing there's going Tokyo on. There's Tokyo Majan, which me and Mike really like. What was it? Tokyo Majan. Oh, yeah, that's, that's one of the ones I got. First got Rachel into it. It's about, well, it's in the beginning, it's about zombies. but It's a huge it's thing in America right now is the occult and vampires. That's and, yeah, about it that for so zombies. It's a good uh, time to push those ones. Sword Art Online. Yep. Great. Guilty Crown. I really like Guilty Crown. Oh, Guilty Crown was really good. Uh, Gantz. Uh, I don't think I'd recommend it. I don't know. If you really like violence, then go ahead. If you, yeah, it's really dark and it's really violent and it's really weird. Weird. Yeah, I don't know. Kirkwood No Basket. Mike won it, but I like it. It's about basketball. Know. One outs. It's about baseball. I like it. Mike won it. Blacker Than Night. We've already talked about. No. Darker oh. Than Black. You mean? No, there's a one called. Oh, Blacker Than Night. Yeah, I don't think we talked about, about that one. Oh it's about God. vampires. There's a what? darker than black and then a blacker <laughs> than night. <laughs> they have nothing don't to get do confused. With yeah. Anyone. Uh, G Gundam. Is really good. It's one of the first Gundam ones I ever watched where each country has like a represent Gundam. Uh -huh. That like like the American one's a boxer and the Canadian one has like axes to chop down trees and they like battle each other for I like an important question. domination. Okay. If I just type in random words into a Google search, will it pop up with an anime? Good. Yes, probably. Like, Vampire Knight, I would not recommend Vampire Knight. I don't think that I didn't like that one very much. Yu Yu Hakushu. The first, like, three seasons are amazing, but that fourth Same season... Same guy that did at Hunter x Hunter. Mm-hmm. Fourth season wasn't very good. Dancing the Vampire Bond? No. Black Butler? No. Code Breakers? I mean, three episodes. I don't and know. And it, like... It got... Their studio went out of business after the third episode, but it's good. Black Butler? No. Is he what? A really Zoids short... Is all right. I've seen Zoids. Zoids is all right. Yeah. Paranoid Agent? Love Paranoid Agent. It's about the kid with the baseball bat. Okay. It's fucking creepy. I haven't seen it. Super creepy. In Dot Hack Sign, is there a guy named Fong? I don't know the name of any character in any anime, know. to be honest. I need to look. Uh, Phantom I Requiem the... for Phantom. That one's really good. I really like I that like one. that one. It's about a guy who loses yeah. his memory and they trick him into being a fucking assassin. Yeah. Ultra reminds me of Black Lagoon for some reason, but I really, really like that one. I like Black Lagoon. Black Lagoon's pretty good. It's not on my list for some reason. Uh, what about Helsing? Is Helsing on your list? Yeah. Helsing's That's good. good. Dead Man Wonderland. It's pretty decent. A lot of people die gory ways, though. Yeah. Eureka 7, where we talked about. Rooney Kitchen, we talked about. It's good. Uh, Dot Heck Sign. And Roots. Wolf Ring. Uh, I don't recommend Wolf Ring. Reboot. That's oh, a reboot. That's a Canadian anime. It's Boom. I love that World. anime when I was a yeah. kid. Yeah. Appleseed, meh. Man, this is getting hard to read. Blood Plus was alright. I'm not going to read all of these. <laughs> Gungrave was alright, but that first episode sucks balls. That's probably why I stopped watching it. The first episode is the worst. It gets nothing but better from there. Okay. Gunslinger Girl. Eh, uh, second season. It's kind of middle of the road. Uh, Helsing. There it is. Sounds really good. The OBAs are really good. 
Oh, All Stars here. Pumpkin Scissors here. We already mentioned both of those. Sacred Seven's pretty good. Samurai Seven is bleh. Scared is bleh. Shaman King's definitely a good one if you got a little kid. Shaman King's good. Trigun. Love that. Trigun. I can't believe that's that. like never one of those up. classic animes that. Yeah. That was. That Vash was, the Stampede, bro. We never mentioned Vash the Stampede. That was one of my. Yeah, that was. One of the first ones was XTV and Trigun. My friend Chloe told me about those ones. That's how I first started getting into anime. Man. Although Evan, that's true. Evan Galleon was my first. Wasn't that my brother's fault? Yes. That was kind of our first anime. Your brother got it and, like, made us watch it. And the last one I'm going to mention is another American one. It's called Ruby. It's hosted by Rooster Teeth. Well, I love Rooster Teeth. It's kind of a 3D anime style, which not a lot of people enjoy, but it is super good. It's done by Mani Oom, who did the Dead Fantasy series on Face or er, by himself on YouTube. That's about all the time we got. You guys want to... Anything? Last comments? Watch more anime. Watch more. Anime. Watch more anime. I think we ought to almost like what's the some next? people said in the co like the comments too is like maybe we should actually just so every once in a while maybe do shorter podcasts of like if we want to talk about a specific anime we ought to maybe do some of those. We do that all the time. About podcasts. Like we had one for video games of our past, but then we had a uh -huh. specific one based on video games. Right. Handheld video games yeah. based on our past, and then we did just Resident Evil. Uh huh. No, I, I like that idea. So, like in the future, we have in like some we, other time. we could do a complete thirty to hour one on any one of those top anime we mentioned. Right. I think we ought to think about doing that. That's that's a good idea, and we can do that over Skype instead of two. Yeah, yeah. that's how we usually do it anyway. Yeah. Final thoughts. Next anime you're going to start. I'm going to. Sorry, I have a list here. After I finish. I don't even know. Where am I? After, no, after I finish watching uh, Ghost in the Shell, I'm going to watch Night Raid 1931, which is a 12 up episode one, and then I'm going to finish Cycle Pass because I've never actually finished. What was that magic one? Where Magical they, Warfare. Magical Warfare. I'm going to watch that one next. That's a good one. I've been watching... Log that's only 12 episodes of it. It's an yeah. ongoing. I've been watching Log Horizon 2, uh, even though it's it's not... It's similar to the Dot Hack sign and the Sword Art Online. It's that it's, it, it's, it's a an game. MMO. It's an MMO where people get stuck in it. <sighs> but it's I don't like it as well as the other two, but I mean, it's still kind of a similar theme. And it's it, it's enjoyable, but... Anime you're going to watch next. Prince of Tennis. Um, I'm probably going to have to be reminded and check with you guys about one. I mean, I know I've been watching Soul Eater, and so I'll probably continue to finish that. But, um, for, as for next, I'm not sure. I'll have to consult one of your lists, basically, or rewatch this podcast. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for paying, or watching us, especially the viewers on our Twitch account. Definitely. If you guys are curious about anything we do, you can check us out on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Jutum Gaming. You can check us out on Twitter at twitter.com forward slash 2 ton gaming PC. You can email us at 2 ton gaming or 2 ton gaming one at gmail.com. You can go to our website, which is weebly or 2 ton gaming.weebly.com. Stay tuned for our official website that is in the process of being made. We have a Twitter. You said that? It said Twitter. Twitch, Twitch is twitch.tv back or forward slash 2 ton gaming. We have a YouTube channel that which we're is YouTube forward slash two -ton constantly gaming. posting League of Legends videos on or all sorts of videos. Podcasts. We and have a always series going check, on. Check all the things out, like, subscribe, and all that YouTube or social media jazz. And you can now, in fact, this is our official report for the first time on a podcast because I haven't posted the other one yet. That we're now on iTunes. So if you. We're timid about getting our shit. You should now go to iTunes and download it for freezes. And plus, cool. our podcast will be on iTunes. So if you have a friend that might be interested, or if you've always had a friend that you've been trying to get um, into anime or would like some anime ideas, clearly we had a lot of information here <laughs> on this on this uh, podcast. So. All right, guys. Thanks again. I'm Chris, Jake, John, and Mike from Two Ton Gaming. We'll see you next week. See you next week.